Hello guys, welcome back to another video on Assetto Corsa Competizione on the PlayStation 5. Today we're in the McLaren 720S Evo and we're at Valencia. Now before we have a look at the lap, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any more setup videos in the future. So it's important to get a good exit out of the final corner to begin our flying lap. This McLaren can be a little bit tricky in the slow speed stuff. It can be uh, difficult to get on the power because it likes to uh, it likes to slide quite a lot. So heading up to turn one then and we're going to use all of the track on the outside down into third gear and then on the power as soon as we can and you can run quite wide there. I didn't actually use uh, the full track there. You can definitely go right out and as long as you keep two wheels on the green you're okay. Down to first gear for the slowest or second slowest corner on the track I should say and then we're going to go second gear here. You want to be very careful on the throttle here because you can lose a lot of time if you start sliding this McLaren and then through over to the right hand side down into first gear and then we're going to do an early up shift to second just to help with the traction out of this corner you can see we're already uh, a quarter of a second up on the previous best time again using all of the track limits on the outside turning into the corner keep it in second gear and again try to get on the power as soon as you can now, the next braking zone is quite tricky i'm going to start braking just so i hit the curb on the right hand side and slowly down into first gear and then again shifting up to second uh, as you can see getting a lot of wheel spin out of that corner so i did actually lose a fair chunk of time there then we're going to go down to third gear try to clip the curb on the right hand side just about got away with that but probably could have done uh, that a little bit better and then right over to the right hand side to maximize the width of the track down to second gear for the final corner and again try to get on the power nice and progressively so you don't spin the wheels onto the start finish straight and we'll cross the line to do a 130.5 so that's the fastest lap I've done at Valencia so far in any car. So it's looking like it is a track that really suits uh, the new McLaren so far. So let's have a look at the setup then. So I've gone quite high with the caster and I just like how that feels. And then full camber, that tends to be fastest uh, with most cars to be honest. And I've gone zero on the rear toe just to try and look after the tyres. TC and ABS on three here, although I did set my fast lap with the TC on two. The brake pads are type one, although type two is still pretty good at the moment. Uh, here we've got the uh, suspension settings. To be honest, I've not changed too much here as far as I'm aware. And then the damper settings. Again, I, I think I just copied some damper settings I had for another track in the McLaren, to be honest. And then full wing, Front ride height, I was able to run at the minimum and still be okay over the curbs. And then the brake ducts were for the temperatures of the track today, which was 16 ambient and 21 on track. So just bear in mind that you will be able to do similar sort of lap times with the same track temperatures in a race qualifying setting. So thanks for watching guys, hope this video helped. Give it a thumbs up if you plan on using the setup yourself. And I hope to see you on track very soon.